Today I'm going to be showing everyone how to use Respondus Lockdown Browser for Canvas or Blackboard when taking an exam or test. It is Mac and Windows friendly so you don't have to worry about um, if you have a certain type of computer if it won't work on it. Background on Respondus Lockdown Browser if no one has used it before is a, it is a way for you to be able to take exams on Blackboard or Canvas without the possibility of you cheating by using the internet, Word documents, PowerPoints, another URL, anything like that during the assignment. Through this presentation, I hope you guys can take away being able to learn the basic knowledge of downloading and using Lockdown Browser, as well as being able to facilitate or give directions to others so they can easily download and access this program as well. So first, what you're going to want to do is go to a blank URL page and type in Google. And then once that pops up, just type in Lockdown Browser, I if I can spell it right, Lockdown Browser JMU. And there's multiple links for it. I've tried all of them out, and the first one is the correct one. So if you want to go ahead and click on the first link. And then the intro page to Blackboard support, which shows Lockdown Browser, is going to pop up. And you can easily access this through Blackboard as well, but I figured this is an easier way just because you can Google it. It pops right up. Instead of searching through it through the support page on your Blackboard page, it just takes a little bit longer. So once you're here, you're going to want to go to your right and click on Lockdown Browser. And once you're here, then click on this link that says Downloading and Installing Lockdown. Respond as lockdown. And then it brings you to another page, and you're going to click on one more link, which is this one right here. Okay, so like I said, it's available for Windows or Mac. I'm a Mac user, so I'm going to click on Mac, but either way, it's going to pop up with the same information. So once you click on Mac or Windows, this is going to pop up, and it's basically asking you if you're going to download it on your computer, a work computer, or your lab computer. I recommend doing it on your computer because you're going to have most access to your own computer rather, rather than a work computer or lab computer. And depending on when you have to take a quiz or the test, it's just, like I said, it's just easier for you to just do it on your own. Okay, once you click on your computer, it's going to come up with this page. There are two install servers that you can choose in order to install it on your computer. There, I've never had problems with either or. I've always just stuck with the first one just because it's the first link, but um, it's up to you. It do really does not matter. Okay, so once that pops up, your downloads bar is going to open up, and it's going to download this little open up package of install Loctis Lockdown Browser. So just double click on that. And then the user agreement is going to pop up. And this is the user agreement. It literally takes two minutes. So what you're going to do is just going to hit continue. This is a license agreement. You can read it if you want to. I've scrolled through it before, so I already kind of know what it states. Then you're going to hit continue. And then you're going to hit agree. Okay, so once this happens, um, I've before in the past, I like I said, I've used this before, so this doesn't only pop up for but for first time users who are installing it on their computer, this is going to pop up and it gives you two um, two choices on how you want to install it on your computer. If you're using a computer with your like roommate or someone else that's also taking similar classes or basically needs this program, this is the option to install it for the whole entire computer so all users have access. But in my case, and I'm pretty sure in a lot of y'all's, um, you can install on a specific disk that just gives you access to it. So I'm going to choose that. Once you choose that, then the space where it's going to go on your computer is going to pop up, the little icon. So you're just going to want to click on that. And it just reminds you how much space it's going to take up, which isn't too much. Um, I've never had a problem with this before. This is like my fourth time reinstalling it. So you're going to hit continue. And it reminds you once more. So then you're going to hit install. And then you're just going to type in your password just to confirm that you're giving it permission. Okay, so now it's installed. So you can close out of that and close out of this. And then you can close out of this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull up your finder. And I normally go to desktop in order to search for it just because it searches the whole computer. So let's just type in lockdown browser. And anything that has a lockdown is going to come up, of course. But the last two ones are the ones that pertain to you. We've just finished this step, so you don't need to worry about this anymore. You want to be able to use this one. So you want to double click on this. 
And basically what it's going to do is temporarily shut down anything that has open on your computer because you're about to use the program. Um, like I told you, the the program is used for Canvas and Blackboard now, so it gives you the options depending on what your classes are on or where your professors um, have the test or quiz on. You're just going to click on either one. I'll just do Canvas for now since that, our class is on Canvas. I'm going to hit continue. And I'm going to stop at this step just because if I go further, it'll close down of my tutorial. And I don't want to do that, so I'll just walk you through the rest of it in another way. But um, in order to use Respond as Lockdown Browser, several programs have to be shut down. And a lot of them, people don't know that they're running through a certain program. Like, for instance, Imagine It, which you could see right here. I have no idea what program uses that so I can never figure out how to shut that down so there's no problem if you don't shut down stuff before you start running it because it can shut down for you by using the kill these apps thing but um, like I said I'm not going to do that because it's going to close down my tutorial so I'm just going to quick out of lockdown browser okay so say that you hit kill these apps it kills the apps for you so then what's going to happen is you chose canvas in order to take the quiz so it's going to pop up and it's a little different formatting but it's going to basically pop up with your um canvas screen and i mean you're going to have to log in first so it's a login canvas screen for jmu it's going to pop up it looks completely the same as it would otherwise then once you're, it pops up you're going to be logged in and, and your main page is going to be like this so depending on what course your test is in, you just go ahead and click on it up at the top. And then I know for some of my teachers, um, they have test or quizzes in this sidebar right here. Um, so what you're going to do is your test or quiz is going to be in that in order to take it with, and use Lockdown Browser. So you're going to want to click on just that tab and we could just pretend this is test and quizzes. Okay, so say this is test four that you're going to take. So what's going to happen after that is you're going to click on test four. And I know for Blackboard, some teachers have passwords that go in with Lockdown Browser. So depending on if it has its password pr protected or not, you're going to click in the type in the password and then go ahead and go. Um, like I said, you're not going to have any of these down here. You're not going to have any of these showing. You're not going to have any access to anything on your computer besides the exam or quiz that's open. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead, take that, and then once you're done, you can hit on this little exit thing up here, and it's going to be, a little thing is going to come up, and it's going to be, oh, do you want to quit that lockdown browser? And you're going to say yes, and then it quits it for you and just comes up with all your normal stuff. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much how you use it, how you download it. It's really simple and easy. Um, like I said, it really, really takes five minutes. Um, and I know a lot of teachers use it too, so it's really important that you know how to because day of the exam, if you still haven't downloaded it and your internet connection isn't working too well, well, you might be, you might be in some trouble. So there you go.